Good evening and welcome back. So today we're away to Villarreal back in the league. The last match we had a 2-0 win against Atletico Madrid. Quite a few changes today. One thing just to, to say first of all, Gedson, it did look like he had an injury in the last match but nothing came up. After the match it did say that he's going to be out for a week so he's going to be missing potentially three games because we've got a few games in short succession. A few changes out today. Schubert is coming back in goal. Mandanda actually had a brilliant match against Atletico Madrid. Kept a clean sheet, made some great saves. Back four of Teixeira, Omarajic, Lovato and Debuchy. We've got Mariba, Cousins, and Lee Kang in. Again, he's getting some game time, which is good. Mudrik, Carlos Perez, and Xerxes up top. So they're probably our second choice front three. But as you can see, Xerxes and Carlos Perez on and up. And Mudrik hasn't had as much game time as probably what we want. If you look down here, the likes of Fabio Vieira, Martinelli, they need a rest really. So need a bit of rotation. Got some games coming thick and fast as well. Yeah, so big match against Villarreal today. We've had three wins out of three in the league. So I want to keep that run going. And obviously when the Champions League this year, we did have a win against Midland the other day. And we've got a big match at home against AC Milan coming up soon. So like I say, rotation is key. We've got such a good sort of second squad now. You know... Don't even like to call them second squads because we rotate our players a lot. So we probably have our first team that we would love to go in with if everyone's fully fit and on form. But by no means does it mean the other players are sort of any lesser. Carlos Perez, captain today as well. Nice play, Lee Kang in. Oof. He's been very good so far this season, the youngster. Good interception from Lovato. I was thinking I was going to have a, a chance there. Here's Mudrik. He needs to step it up a little bit, I think, with all the competition he's got now. Perez. Nice ball through to Xerxes. Oh, just intercepted. Just about. So much strength and depth now from our team. In every position we've got competition. Modric. Look at all the players they've got behind the ball though. Nice ball attack Shara spreading it wide. Ah, it's a bit too close to the keeper. We might have to play it out wide a bit more in terms of getting balls in the box from the, the wing backs the way Villarreal seem to be set up so far. Well there's a bit of space here for Mudrick. Xerxes, what are you doing offside? Had so much time. Why are you that far offside? No awareness whatsoever. He didn't even need to try and dash through. Anyway. That's better play from CXC. That's what one, you know, back to goal, playing it off to the to the wingers. Don't need to be rushing on and getting caught offside or anything like that. Nice play from Omarajic. And into CXC. Ooh, looking for the one two there. Defender just caught it. Good pressure. Although they win the ball. There he is, Cousins. Uh, just a bit too short for Perez. It's getting a bit scrappy now. I haven't really created any clear cut chances yet. Oh, but here's Mudrick. Ah, oh, Xerxes <laughs> on his heels there. Wasn't the best of balls from Mudrick. That's a sloppy pass from them. Okay, 
Okay, that's not a great ball from Kusans. He's normally very good at those passes. He's had two go astray already. That's about it. God, they've got so many players behind the ball. And it's working so far, you've got to say, you know, I haven't really let in any massive chances. And if that's their, if that's their tactic, it is working. Oh, ref, man. That's about it. Transfer county here. Carlos Perez. Does he exceed? Perez again. Needs some help. Gets it from Zirksi. Ah, he got shoved off the ball there. It needs to be stronger. Good pressure in though. That's what we like to see. And because of that, they give the ball away. Nice ball to Perez from Cousins. Perez. Ah, oh, blocked. That was more like it from Cousins. Got a chance from a corner now, and Cousins will be taking it. We're going to try one of these set piece strategies again. Go for the dash. Didn't quite work that time. And that'll be half time. We'll jump straight into the second. Just looking at the stats. Possession was pretty much equal, and there was only two shots on goal, both by ourselves, both on target. But uh, not very eventful half. Uh, nice play until it got to Mudrick. I'm not quite sure what that pass was supposed to be. Need some better quality and. I don't think anyone's been outstanding so far, but Madrid's got to do better. And that's a foul, but I'd rather play it on. I had the ball. And this isn't really much use to me, to be honest. And the defender was... The opposition was nowhere. Definitely not outside that 10 meter zone you need to be for the free kick so it's a bit stupid nice ball from Kang and Lee Not much space. <laughs> so it's getting very tight. Oh, nice play for Mudrick there. Xerxy. Oh, two defenders on him there. Couldn't do much else. We'll let that go out for a throw in. Not going to make any subs quite yet. Perez. Oh, straight at the keeper. Doesn't hold it though. It's a pretty strong shot. I think Perez has probably been maybe our best player, biggest threat. He says giving it away. That's it. We need to get it forward. That's poor. Could get caught here. Good tackle from one Roger though. Oh, come on, ref. That's... I'm sick of these referees. It really pisses me off. 
you get the ball and it's just really annoying because there's no consistency apart from that if the AI do it they get away with it and it's just annoying if it was for both it would still be annoying but these croissants now Lee Kang in Sixty, Sixty, what are you doing there? Chris once again. Uh, there's just no space. Lee Kang in. So we're diving in there and I don't get a free kick. That's what I... Uh, getting angry doesn't help because I'm just... Right, come on. We need to create some chances here. Perez, nice little ball to him. Oh, that's a terrible pass though. Can Xerxes get in? And he's got Mudrick in here. Xerxes. <laughs> it's in finally. Jesus Christ. Bloody hard work. Yeah, just there. Uh, they've been trying to do that all game. Pass it around at the back and it's caught them out this time. Saves them right. They've been playing so defensively as well. Keeper gets a bit unlucky, I think. And I could have made some subs earlier, but I thought, do you know what, let's just stick with the team we've got. That's a foul. Come on, ref. How is that not a foul? Take seat. No more drink. Don't care, I'm taking them out there. Absolutely. Yeah, of course there's a yellow card. Right, okay. Nice the header there. There's not really anyone around, but Carlos Perez gets it. And it's a nice ball to tech share it. What an awful, awful touch. Xerxes has been terrible in this game. Absolutely terrible. Good tackle. That's a foul. That'll be full time though. Poor game. Yeah, possessions and all the shots. Uh, Villarreal just didn't really do anything to be honest about from put 11 men behind the ball most of the time. Man of the match, Mudrick, only because he got the goal, but I thought he was pretty average. Perez getting less than Xerxes. I mean, Xerxes was pretty terrible, might be exaggerating a little bit, but um, Carlos Perez, for me, was probably the best player on the pitch. And that's it for today, guys. Pretty sh poor showing, to be honest, from both teams. If anyone was going to win, it was going to be ourselves. Let's hope the next game is a lot more entertaining against Almeria. And then we've got the big match against AC Milan. So join me for those next couple of games. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all soon. Cheers.